Hello Zebraherda and welcome back to Pokemon Quest and today we are moving on to World 8th and I'm actually feeling fairly confident about it. I've been leveling up a variety of Pokemon just to be ready for it, just in case we run into any kind of issue. But right now I've been leveling up Jigglypuff, Arbok, which used to be Ekans, leveled up to Arbok, which is Cobra backwards, isn't that fancy? And then Rhydon, which before was whatever his name was. But now he's Rhydon and he's cool. He's a really big Pokemon as you can see right here. Pokemon strength is 576, 794, so he's, he's, he's pretty decent. I mean, I don't know if I'll be using him, but I figured I'd just get him leveled up just in case we need some backup strategies because I got the other Pokemon I plan on using in today's episode very well prepared, I think. Um, We had, Diglip, but it's now Doug Trio, and then also Onyx. I plan on using that same team again in today's episode. I'm sorry if that's a little boring, but if we run into any opposition, I've been leveling up other Pokemon. I've been trying to get a level for Jigglypuff because she literally just needs one more level and she'll become a, uh, is it Wigglytuff, the next evolution? Maybe, but uh, it takes a while to get a level 70 to level 71 at this point in the game. So yeah, I was just trying to level up some different Pokemon because I want to be able to evolve everybody to complete the Pokedex eventually. But with all of that side tangent done, we're gonna go ahead and get you back in and then get you back in. There we go. I do really like this this style of a, of a squad we got going on. So we gotta mix with our Power Stones a little bit because you may have noticed that uh things are a little out of order because I've been doing things with different Pokemon. But yeah, we have a lot of really effective Power Stones at this point that I'm happy to be starting to use. So let's just start plopping stuff onto things. I really don't know what order I should be doing things. I guess just replacing like, you know, I don't really need Rhyhorn, I think his name is, to have this if right now somebody else could have it. So I might as well just give it to him. And we'll just sort of work our way down with everything. Of course, if Arbok has it, he's gonna be a part of our team still, so I can let him keep having it. But uh, the damage stones that maybe he's not using, like this one from Jigglypuff. I can put this one over, I mean, I guess this. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll have to wait and see, because we did get this bonus up here, which is healing from KO, which is all right, but then this golden healing is really good. Healing from KO, critical hit rate, hit healing, very nice. So that's good for Onyx, and then we just gotta move over to the Doug Trio, which doesn't have too many options right now, which is sort of a problem. I might wanna switch some stuff around, but he has so many slots, it's insane. But anything that uh, Jigglypuff might have and then some, having as much health as possible for him will be helpful, just because, uh, ooh, there we go, we get a bingo there. And then, actually, we might lose a little bit of health, but I think this will be worthwhile because we get an extra critical hit. Anyway, we can make him stronger, I think will be helpful too. But I wanna showcase the bingo bonuses, for sure, because they've been really helping me out. So something like that seems like a good combo. The only thing we're not using on this page is this one, which is just a uh, base healing stone. But even then, I'm trying to take a look. I think that's gonna be okay. But if we take a look, for having these three in a row, we get movement speed plus 30%, which is pretty nice. That gets really crazy when we see, I think it's Cobra here, or, or Arbok. Yeah, he has all three bingo bonuses. So he has a connection here, a connection there, and a connection there. So they can't have it diagonally, I have checked, but it doesn't even have to be the full board filled as long as it has to be three of three. So for those three of three, we get all three bingo bonuses. Time to recover is minus 10%. Resistance to poison is plus 100, which I think means he is just 100% resistant to poison. There's no possible way he can be poisoned. And then he also has a 20% resistance to negative effects, I can only imagine, like maybe negative damage or something. And then finally, Onyx. Onyx has maybe a bingo, I don't even know. He has one bingo. What is that bingo bonus? It is the attack of rock type moves, which is, is this rock type? It is rock type, so that's a little bit stronger. So that's been real helpful, having that whole combination of things. Now we're not quite done, we have a lot to get into, because we have some challenges we've completed, we have uh, Pokemon that we need to get out of these cooking pots. I say that as if they're inside the cooking pot, but that's not how it works. I'm gonna keep the battery there for now, still. And then we still have expedition bonuses, which I'm really excited for. I don't know if it's quite time enough to get the tickets, but I'll take a look for sure. But we're getting a couple from just a quest right here. It's got like 25 of them, I think. And then some more ingredients. I feel like I haven't been earning up as much ingredients recently. Like I'll play the levels, but instead of getting 50 or 60 ingredients per level, I've been getting only like 30 or 40 at most. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe it's just the levels just give you less as you go on, which is sort of a shame. It should be giving you more. I don't know. With that being said, we should check some stuff out, see how things are going. 
Uh, is there, oh, look at Eradicate. Uh, you've been put in a main quest. No, I don't want to check it out, because it's battery. But look at this, it's Eradicate. And that's the evolution of Rattata, level 34. You are just normal type, but you have Fury Swipes. The user repeatedly swipes at enemies directly in front of itself, damaging them, and then finally we have Zen Headbutt, which is a psychic type move. I want to keep you in mind then for when we have the psychic world, which is like world nine, I think. Uh, Zen Headbutt, the user focuses its willpower to its head, then smashes it into enemies directly in front of itself, dealing damage to enemies hit by it. Very cool. I was thinking like, oh, we got to level up Aratata soon to get uh, that, <laughs> but we don't have to. Awesome. So let's see if we get any kind of cool new Pokemon out of this situation. I can only hope, right? Oh, another Onyx! Okay, that's really good, because then maybe I might be able to level the other Onyx up with this guy, because this guy definitely doesn't have as good moves. Um, he only has one move slot, and you know he doesn't really have many things. So we're definitely gonna just use that guy to level up our current Onyx, because that'll just be perfect. And then if we move over to this one, because I think we almost have another stone for Onyx. We get ourselves a silver cooking pot, mud pie a la cube. So that'll be a, what is that, ground, ground type? Another Onyx! <laughs> what is with this? Okay, what level are you? 66, you have, what is this then? This is Rock Tomb. We already have one Pokemon with Rock Tomb, so it's not really exactly necessary. I think I like my Onyx how he is. Oh, you know what? I should use you for move learning. I should, over the growl, I should run Rock Tomb. That would be so good. Oh, I really want to do that now. You are perfect. Okay, so many Onyxes. What do we got this way? Mulligan stew a la cube, whatever ingredients. Okie doke. Oh, 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 Magikarp. I was like, what in the world was that? I was gonna say, it's another Onyx. Whoa, what it, what? Oh, it's a shiny. Look at the star! It's gold! <laughs> of course, my first ever shiny in like any Pokemon game. It's gonna be Magikarp. I love you so much. You were so cute. I got myself a golden Magikarp. That is really funny. But I definitely want to keep him around. If I can level him up, I wonder what level he has to be to turn into a. I, I know I don't pronounce it right. G Gyra Gyarados? Gyarados? I don't know. I don't know what level. Is, is that even Gen 1? I would sure hope so. I am so excited right now, but if he evolves, will he still be shiny? Oh, you guys are gonna have to let me know that. I don't wanna ruin it. Like, if he's shiny, but if he evolves, he's not shiny, I don't wanna ruin that. But we get another Paris. I'm so excited, we got our first shiny Pokemon. Cool, so you actually look like he has some pretty good moves. You have Poison Powder, and then you also have Rage Powder. So our Parasect has Rage Powder, but not Poison Powder, so he might be used for move learning. He's right here, actually. <laughs> so we can check him out really quickly if we can. I would like it if you could just select these Pokemon and see their moves, but sometimes it just like won't let you. Yeah, you'll just do a little dance. It's like, no, I wanna see what you do. But no, you won't let me. And we do have the new tickets, just like we had the new Pokemon. They both show up at the same time, I think. Okay. So there we go, we have 190 more tickets. I still can't afford what I wanted to get next, which is the 500 ticket Firo Weather Vane. But hey, we'll be fine, I think. Maybe, <laughs> we'll find out. So we still have a lot more to do. I don't wanna check out the quests, but I want to go ahead and train up Onyx. I think that'd be the best thing. And we'll try out this level. So, edit our team. I really don't think I need Growl with Onyx. It's not really been all that helpful very often. It usually just doesn't really have too much of an effect. So if we can move to training and just make sure that this Onyx uses, I think it was the level 60 something Onyx, right? This guy has, what moves does this guy have? He has, he has the uh, Rock Tomb. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and put the higher level one right there and then move this Onyx, yep, yep, yep. We need to move him, but click and hold. Will show me the abilities of a Pokemon? Sometimes it does on some screens, sometimes it does. I feel like the UI needs a good update in this game. So not training, even though that would give him 10 levels, which is amazing. We need to put it over this. Success rate 100%. That's gonna be really good. Um, you can change a Pokemon's move with, tr with training. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. Okay, very cool. So, oh, what? It gets rid of the stone? Why, why does it do that? Moose stones have been, okay, for a second I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, well, why? <laughs> what reason does it have for that? But no, it's fine. So this is the level 30 Onyx. I think he only had a growl, so he's not really that great. Yep, <laughs> let's try to make sure we don't accidentally reteach him growl, because that would just be really embarrassing. Instead, we're gonna do the level up training, put this Onyx in there, and that should give you 
Two levels, sweet, we'll do it. Uh, Pokemon gain experience from level up training. Yes, we would love to start training, boom. So that should, okay. You aren't too close to that stone, but we're a tiny bit closer. It's such a, it's such a long haul at this point in the game to get that done. And when it comes to the other Pokemon, I mean, we had this level 30 Magic Carp. I'm so happy about that. Uh, what other Pokemon did we get? We got the Parasect, so I'm not too worried about that. We got the Doduo last episode. Lots of cool Pokemon. But I think that's where we're gonna leave things. I don't think we have any other Power Stones, so I think we're at this point 100% good to go with World 8. It only took us 10 minutes, like always. But you guys haven't been complaining about it, so I hope it's good. Oh wait, I didn't refill the cooking pots. There's always something. So, I wanna do two silver, two bronze, something like that. I know about the main quest, I'm trying to hold on to it for later. So yeah, we will hold on to these. I, I made that thing last episode with the, uh, the guy that has a pouch, and then after I made that video, I got tons of messages saying, oh, don't use them yet. You wanna use them later for another rare Pokemon where you can combine this stuff with that stuff. So I'm like, oh, well that was bad timing. But hopefully we'll earn up more. I honestly earn up a good chunk of those quite often. So I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I think we're gonna turn out okay. So we'll do two bronze, we will do two silver and see how everything goes. Auto set. Yep, yep, yep. And then move this way. They're all beating up on the Pomara at Magic Card. What are you guys doing? Did you see that? They're like, oh, you're different. We gotta beat you up. Don't do that. I raise you guys better. So let's just stick together. You guys are a gigantic family. What, what do we have, 70 Pokemon at this point? <laughs> you guys are a really, really big family. Okay, go ahead and plop all that stuff in there, and we should be good to go. Two silver, two bronze. Hopefully we unlock that gold one soon. But for now, don't have to worry about it. We're gonna go back to our expeditions. And for real, start World 8. I am so excited to do this. We even have the expedition bonus. We might get a really powerful stone. We get plus 3,000 for our, our bonus type. And we're already 10,000, so we're sitting pretty well with everything. But I wanted to be as prepared as I could because I've noticed that I think that I'll be good with something and then I'll move into it and I've been very surprised by how badly we do. I've also learned some controller shortcuts because of you guys' advice. So instead of having to use my cursor to make these guys separate, I can actually press the B button. And to turn auto on or off, I can just press the up button on the D-pad. So some useful stuff there. So let's go ahead and make these guys do some moves, even though that was not necessary whatsoever. But we got a lot of uh, dog trios to deal with. But I'm so glad we have two Pokemon with Rock Tomb now, which is great. Now if there's something too far away for Sandstorm to be useful for Onyx, we now have Rock Tomb instead. Even though I probably should have put some Power Stones on it, because we could have done that. So even though Arbok here only has one move, it's a very useful one. It's not always bad when a, a Pokemon only has one move type if they have like a bunch of upgrade stones. Like I think he had three upgrade so stone slots, which is like what makes the big difference of it. Okay, so we got more. I think these are what Jigglypuff evolve into. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. This is what the other pink Pokemon evolves into. I'm trying to remember. We're getting lo loads more materials now than I when I was training, which is good. Boom, that was a very powerful rock tomb. I really like having so many rock tombs at my dis disposal, at least for this world. I think we're gonna be able to get through this A-OK. -okay. You are so cute, that's Wigglytuff. Oh, I'm so excited to evolve Wigglypuff or Jigglypuff then, because you are adorable. I tell you what, oh, you're putting us asleep. That's something I thought was very useful about Jigglypuff that I might end up using if we need to, especially in the psychic type world, is that she has sleep. That was the only move our Jigglypuff had, but it was so useful. It was so wonderfully useful because Okay, you should be able to hit that with the sandstorm, and you still missed. Uh, it was so wonderfully useful because he, she, was, she was putting the bosses to sleep while the rest of the, zo the zombies, what am I talking about? The rest of the, I just recorded plans for the zombies, I'm sorry. <laughs> the rest of the, the Pokemon uh, beat up the bosses. That was really good. Okay, so ooh, we got a golden damage stone there. Hopefully it's over 300. I know I'm, I'm, I'm sounding a little spoiled when I say that, but look at how powerful our stones are at this point. If it's not over 300, it's really not that worth it. 279, ah, that stinks. But that's our golden one for our expedition bonus. Hopefully we can start getting better as we move on, but that was a breeze. I love it. So we don't actually have to change anything up, I don't think. I mean, maybe we can double check real quick, but I wanna stick to some action for now. We move this way. Yeah, that stone wasn't really much better than what we currently have. We needed to be over 300 to be better than anything we got right now. So let's get back to it, 7200, not a problem. So we have a while to go before even the base level, the base power is more powerful than what we currently got. I feel like Arbok really turned that around. Having the double rock tomb just gave us so much power. I feel like I just sort of had like a Eureka moment with how 
I can work with this game a little bit better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still awful at this game. But I feel like I'm learning as we go along, and that's the most important way, is to you know do it as you're going along, not in hindsight like I usually learn things. Okay, so we'll do a bunch of rock tombs, because we can just throw out three rock tombs really quickly. Okay, do stealth rock, just like that. I don't even know what these Pokemon are. I wish I could put my cursor over them and see what they what their name is really quickly. That'd be useful. Because that's sort of something I did notice about this game, is that it definitely sort of relies on the fact that you already know a good chunk about Pokemon. Uh, nowhere in the game does it say like, oh, you know, there's different typings, and this is the type that's strong against this. It, it tells you, you know, like, this Pokemon has a bonus type. But nowhere can you actually find the name or the type names of the Pokemon in the game. You'll have little colored symbols next to the Pokemon, but I've looked all over the place and it doesn't seem like it lists those colors anywhere. You know, I've known just from Googling it, which I think is what they expect you to do if you don't know a lot, but it just, it definitely is for people at first who know already a good chunk about Pokemon. And while I don't know a ton, I'm learning. Okay, ooh, hit you with the mud slap was actually pretty powerful, I like it. We are handling this Arbok really well. I like how every boss always seems to be an evolved form of a Pokemon, which helps me learn a little bit more about different evolutions, too. Arbok's pretty cool looking, I like him. So there is that done, stage clear. And that means we got another Power Stone, we got 72 materials, which is really nice. Almost level 46 for you, which is great. The only thing is that we're not really leveling up Pokemon that I might need to level up for evolutions right now, but my main focus is getting through this world. Of course, progressing through the game is gonna be the most important thing. But we already got another uh, cooking pot, which will be great. So what will this have for us? That one's, oh, just two out of two. That's actually really easy. No, don't want that. But there's our Kangaskhan, that's what that's called. Uh, Mulligan Stua Cube. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh, is it Growlithe, I think? Or maybe the evolution of Growlithe? Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me not get ahead of myself. Growlithe, yeah, I was right! Level 18, not too bad. But we already have you, don't we? I think so. That's sort of a shame. But hey, it's fine. So, let's go ahead and fill that back up. We'll make it another bronze one. We'll have like two dedicated bronze spots and two dedicated like silver spots, if I can remember. Until we get like more materials and better things. Better like the golden cooking pot, whatever, however many materials we'll need for that, like 70 per slot or something ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know how many they're gonna be. There might be like a golden one and then like a platinum one, something crazy like that. Okay, 7,900 still isn't that big of a deal. Close range Pokemon and long range Pokemon. We read that one before. Okay, so just throwing Rock Tomb at him over and over again, that sounds like one heck of a strategy to me. Go for it, go for it. Look at that. And we're able to just destroy bosses that way. And then the Mud Slap is actually doing a good chunk of damage because I, yeah. Because Stealth Rock is the Rock type move there and Mud Slap is the Ground type. With Rock Tomb being a Rock type move and, no, 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 is that Ground or Rock? It might be Rock. But that's why I wanted to train different Pokemon that I'm not playing right now, is because just in case this team didn't do so great, I had some different options. So that was, I think, a good choice overall. Because Rock Tomb, it, it's good, it does some great damage, but I actually think that it is starting to lag behind as we get farther into this, so we'll have to see how things end up working. But overall, I think Onyx has been improved by it. Boom, oh, that just destroyed you. Because of the fact that, um, you know, it's just better than Growl. He has more of an option of landing shots now than he did before, which I think is really nice. Okay, so we got a uh, this dude, not a big deal. Look at this, look at this. Boom, he's gone. Ooh, so we got a, a Kangaskhan, which is what we got from the Rainbow Rock. So very cool. Does Kangaskhan have an evolution, or is it an evolution Pokemon? If it, if it is an evolutioned Pokemon, that'll be the first time we've gotten a Pokemon that's evolved out of a uh, cooking pot before. So maybe that's what all the rainbow stuff did. Because a lot of people were saying, oh, you get a legendary, some people were saying you get Mew, some people were saying you get uh, just a rare Pokemon in general, or it's just a chance, you might not get anything. It's been totally different what some of you guys have been saying, which isn't a bad thing, it just means that you know we're all having our own experiences, which is cool. Okay, so there is that done. I still need to put more stones on you guys, for sure, if I have any available. If I could get more of the yellow stone, that always seems to be good. I don't think those are all too helpful. I don't know why I'm not getting so lucky with the power stones right now, but most of those are definitely gonna be uh, recycled. I think I actually have to do that now. I think I'm running low on space. I think I can do with the space I have. I just need to keep recycling. Cause like I really don't not need stuff that's under 300 at the moment, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna come in handy. I need to get these guys, or get this stuff off of these guys, but I keep forgetting. 
But for now, recycling five of them will surely be helpful. And, ooh, so this is Scattershot Stone. We can try this and see if that's any good. And then moving over to Arbok, I don't know if you have any other slots. I think we really utilized the slots you had. Yep, I think that's good how it is. I think it's really good. And then we move back over to Onyx. You have two slots we can utilize with your new move. Unfortunately, we don't have any stones for it. Okay, I don't know when we're gonna end up using sharing stones, because we just, we haven't run into any moves that really need it yet, but I'm sure eventually. So the boss is 12,900, 12, so that'll be larger than our base, but not larger than us with the bonus types. We'll have to see how that ends up going on, but that's not even now. We're going to the third level now to see how things go. I didn't see any cooking pots done, but I might have totally missed. It's fine, one more battle won't hurt. Oh, we got all these guys. Uh, I always forget their names. Uh, I, I think that their evolution is called Marowak? I think so. Man, why am I forgetting your name? Usually you're, these ones are really obvious. It probably is. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple more material. We already have the same amount of material we got before the boss last round. Like there's some, some levels that just do not cough up many materials for whatever reason. Oh, we got another Ekans coming in. Get rid of this guy. And then do a little bit of this. Double Rock Tomb. Okay, that sort of worked. Now it'd actually be a good spot for a uh, Sandstorm. I think, actually, no it's not. <laughs> the, the, the actual opportunity I have to use it. Okay, so I definitely wanna try Stealth Rock out and see if that's any better with the Scattershot Stone. The song is really good. Whoa, lick a tongue, lick a tongue, look at that. What are you the evolution of? I don't think it's like Slowpoke, is it? No, 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 that wouldn't be right. Anyways, the rock, the, the stealth rock actually looked like it did pretty good there. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's just going out with more stuff, which which is always useful. So do rock tomb, rock tomb again, and then we're probably gonna hit you with mud slap. I can only imagine that'll be useful, right? Yeah, yeah, it did pretty decent. When all the shots land, it's really nice. Oh gosh, you're paralyzed over there. I don't like that. We're gonna have to protect you as much as we can. Uh, can we? Can you still use it though? Not looking like it. Okay, but we're doing good against you. Real good. Come on, one more, one more. Yeah, we got you without having to lose any Pokemon. We haven't lost like a single Pokemon today. It's been amazing. So there's a good chunk of materials and we get, oh, I was just asking for that, thank you. So we get two uh, power stones there. One of them, of course, is the yellow stone we just got and then 308 sturdy stone, eh, it's okay. I said over 300, but I meant a good chunk over 300. Like, teetering more towards 400. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being greedy, I know. I apologize. So there we go, we do get this cooking pot completed. It looks like the uh, two silver ones will be completed next round, that's awesome. I'm just, I'm still so thrilled. We got ourselves a shiny Pokemon, and it's a Magikarp. I really would like to know, though, because I, I don't want to level him up and make him an evolution if it's going to end up making it so that I can't have an, a, a shiny Garados, Gyarados, you know. I think that's what Magikarp evolves into. We got another Ponyta. Nothing crazy with that, but hey, an extra member for the family. Everybody's so happy. They're like, yeah, welcome to the family. We all have parties all day. Okay, so go ahead and do this. Speaking of which, though, which which uh, different uh, ingredients do I have at this point? We are still missing a couple. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different recipes we're still missing, so gotta figure that out soon. Grayish Pokemon, water type Pokemon. We could try something like this. I mean, we're looking for Psychic, even though I don't think we have a Psychic recipe just yet. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll just do Mulligan. I mean, we'll just do whatever this makes anyways, but <laughs> I mean, is that how that works actually? I don't know. Uh, do th Does the auto set matter based on this? No, I don't think so. Anyways, there's that done. How long will that take? Four more battles, we should be able to do that just fine. We still have half our battery going on, and that's not even including the extra battery upgrades we have, not battery upgrades, but battery refills, I guess. So I don't think this one's gonna be an issue either, but we will find out together. Blastoise fountain effect. Oh yeah, the uh, Blastoid Fountain decoration. I was like, what is it talking about? Does he have like a special move that only Blastoid can get called Fountain? No, not quite. Oh wow, we are destroying these guys all over the place though. All these Jigglypuffs going down, hopefully before they make us go to sleep, because that's never fun. Oh, we got rid of you. Whoa, look at all that material. 
I like it. Wild Pokemon are coming in, of course. It would be interesting if there were trainer battles in this game. That's something I want to hear about. Do you guys think it would be cool if I could like battle against other trainers in this game? Or do you think that would be something that just wouldn't be very interesting? I think that'd be pretty cool, you know, just go against, like you have your three strongest Pokemon, you go against another player that has their three, and you're all just using your moves. I feel like that'd turn out re really fun. Let's try to get everybody to group up a little bit more. Everybody's getting put to sleep. That's definitely the difficulty of this level, is that everybody's gonna have sleep, right? Arbok is actually taking a bit of a beating, so if we can hit these guys with Rock Tomb just like that, as much as we possibly can, come on. Get you out of here and hit you with Mud Slap. Jeez. <laughs> these guys do not know how to give up at all. Come on, come on, come on, Sandstorm. Yeah, that was decent. Come on, keep going, keep going. Do I really have to use more abilities? I didn't think so. Jeez, this is actually getting really tough, and there's more of them. Use Mud Slap, use Rock Tomb, use another Rock Tomb. Oh, oh. As soon as we can get rid of that Wigglytuff and the Jigglypuffs, we should be good. It might just be tough to get there. Okay, we got him. So that was a waste of a Rock Tomb I just used. Or maybe he didn't even use it, I don't even know. We got the boss now, so things were okay, but we got a Wiggly, no, a Cleffable, that's okay. I'm getting a little confused, definitely, but you know what I meant. So let's do Rock Tomb there. Okay, lots of damage going all over the place. Which one's gonna be available first? I think this uh, Arbok Rock Tomb, they were sort of all available at once. Oh, you got put asleep though, oh, that stinks. Okay, that's not good. We got rid of a lot of the opponents there. I think it's just us and the boss now. No, our good buddy taken out. Doug Tree is sn snoozing right now. Come on, do Stealth Rock. That should do some decent damage. It definitely does. It stacks up really crazy. Big fan of that. We never apply that new uh, stone on it though. Go ahead and do this. I don't know if that was all that helpful. Do Rock Tomb again. Arbok is almost back up, which will be great. But for now, let's just keep doing Stealth Rock because that does a ton. Just like that. And then hit you with this. Boom. So much damage. Do another one. Boom. Boom. That, that one sort of missed. But that's okay. That's okay. We got more coming down the pipeline. Boom. We got rid of you. That one was a little bit scary, but we were still able to survive. So as long as we don't have the issue, but just even more difficult next round, I think we'll be able to make it two more Power Stones. What are these ones? Okay, anybody getting level ups? Not quite. At this high of a level, it's hard to get much more. Okay, you see, this is what I mean. This ain't so bad, but this is really what I've been talking about. I want more 400 plus stuff, is really what I should have said from the beginning, wasn't it? Okay, so we got two silver cooking pots. They might have some fun Pokemon for us. At this point, it's like, oh my gosh. The sky is the limit, you know, on all the cool stuff we can get in this game. Oh, wrong thing. Every time with that, they are never gonna stop bothering me. What do we got? Come on, come on. I'm waiting for it to load. <laughs> Ooh, red stew a la cube. Oh, two of them. Nice. Okay, so that should be Doduo and Parasect. Or no, just Paris. Okay, so level 35 Doduo with. What is this? This is Drill Pack. The user attacks enemies directly in front of itself with its sharp beak damaging them. Cool. Then we got Parasect. Or Paris, oh my gosh. And you are pretty similar to the other Paris we got earlier. You have Poison and uh, Rage Powder. Which, hey, that might be pretty good. For now, we'll go ahead and make this another silver one just by upgrading it like that and plopping in more ingredients. They always put in the ingredient we have the least of, which right now is this. <laughs> I mean, I could replace it with uh, this, because I have 999 of them. I would like to sort of chop, or chop down on that. And then, ooh, hot pot a la cube. We might get some good fire types then. Another, that's like our fourth Ponyta in today's episode. What's with that? <laughs> Ponyta level 55. I mean, I'm sure we could actually do some training with some of them and unlock the evolution of it. That'd be pretty cool. We just have to decipher which one has the best skills before we do that. But for now, I'm not worried about it. How many Pokemon do we have right now? It's not gonna tell me. Okay. So we're gonna upgrade this one to silver as well and then auto set some more stuff. Let's get some more of this in there over those mushrooms. Yeah, looks good. So we need to wait six for this one, three for that one, that's not too bad. Two more for these, three more for these. Okay, good stuff, we're heading back out. And maybe with all of this, we'll go ahead and get that new health stone. We might actually be able to succeed in just defeating the boss already. This might be one of the most leisurely worlds we've had so far, which is really weird. So who has the weakest health stone right now? 
that would go to Doug Trio, which is great because that's the one we have up already. So 346 is the lowest one, so we are missing out on some buffs, but critical hit damage, healing from KO. I think actually, you know what? Even though it's a little less health, I think that's gonna be worth it because critical hit's always really good. Healing from KO, if we were getting KO'd a little bit more often, I would see that, but we already have a healing from KO. Compare that one. Okay, you know what? Here's how we're gonna make up the difference. This one is actually more healing from KO than that one is, so doing that will be very helpful. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense to me. We still have a couple more uh, stones available. It looks like Doug Trio also has the weakest damage stone, so upgrading you from a 335 to a 351 won't be too bad. And then this 358 and 392. Who am I giving that to, you know? I might wanna move over to some different characters, depending. Hard to say, I actually don't know if there's any other characters that have a weaker health stone. They all look like they're good with what they have. Okay, well then that should be good. If we're having more problems, maybe I can tweak things a little bit more. But things are going well as they are. With the bonus tip, we have 13,500 almost. So that's a good chunk over what they have. So we'll have to see how things are going. Moby 4's maximum speed was on par with some of the fastest Pokemon. That's pretty cool, I like it. Okay, so we got, oh, Nidorans, I think. Or maybe Nidorinas, is, is there a difference? Is Nidorina a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. I think maybe that's the ev evolution. Or maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> There's just hundreds of names to remember. Okay, so let's go ahead and Rock Tomb, and then Stealth Rock just like this. I think that Rock Tomb missed though. <laughs> oh well, this one won't. So far we're handling these Pokemon pretty well. Pretty sure they're just normal types, so overall, oh gosh, there's more of them. Mudslap, Mudslap. They were they were definitely growling us away there for a little bit. I think that weakened our damage. Looks like it. But we're all a little resistant to negative effects right now because of some of our bingo moves and some of the uh, bonuses the, the Power Stones are giving us, so that's definitely helpful. Okay, we should be able to just get rid of you just by attacking, right? Almost, almost, gotcha. Pretty good, we're all looking nice. Like, Onyx doesn't even have a health bar over him, he's so high health, he's just at maximum. Oh, you're just, oh no, there's, there's more than one Pokemon here. Thought there was only one, so I was like, uh, should I use more than one Rock Tomb? Guess we are. Okay, we got another one. Do that, let's do Mud Slap, because there's a good chunk of, of uh, different Pokemon here. And this last Rock Tomb should be enough to get rid of the one on the side maybe, or miss both of them. Don't miss them this time, boom, and got ya. Yeah, we're still handling ourselves pretty well. Let's try Sandstorm. That hit a little bit. And then we can just, yeah, do that. Stealth Rock is definitely really powerful now with that extra stone. So those colored stones, I don't know what those are called, I always forget, but uh, they're really helpful. They're very game-changing, depending on how you use them and where. That's definitely why, been, why Arbok has been so powerful. But this just does so much damage that stacks up on, it, on itself. That's just crazy. So get that a little bit. I guess we'll do another Rock Tomb, because these guys are actually really powerful. They're holding on tight. Okay, do another Rock Tomb here. We're gonna just constantly Rock Tomb as well, which is just craziness. They're actually, these, these two are really tough. They aren't, they aren't going down without a fight. Oh gosh, no, Doug Trio! Come on, that was silly, but we got some rainbow out of it. If these guys are like weirdly powerful. Give me more rainbow. No, not rainbow there, okay. Well, we tried. We just have to hold on tight until Doug Trio shows up. No, not the double boss, Nino Queen and Nino Queen and Nino King. Oh gosh, this is actually a big problem. Oh no, oh I don't like it. Things have been going so well. Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb. Got it, no that didn't do anything. No, Arbok! Run away, buddy! Come on, we gotta go ahead and, no, that's not gonna land. Okay, that was a total waste. Rock Tomb, just like that. Come on, you guys can do it, you guys can do it. We've actually done a decent little chunk of damage to them. Do this, nice. And then Rock Tomb. So we're doing okay damage to Nidal Queen. Nidal, Nidal King is very large, I don't like it, it's scary. Come on, okay, Arbok, go ahead and do this. I know you don't have too much health right now, so we need to land as much damage as possible. This might work out, it might not. Everybody back up a little bit, try to reorder ourselves. Okay, got it, no, we got taken out again. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, this is so intense. This is a ridiculous boss fight. I'll tell you what. Come on, come on, now I need you to attack Needle Queen. We gotta get rid of one of them before we do anything else. Okay, I probably should have done Mud Slap and the, the Stealth Rock there instead. We do what we did, come on now. Got it, do this. Okay, not bad. Arbok, get in there, yes, we might be able to do this! Come on, everybody, keep working! 
Okay, our box down again. Do Mudslap, not bad. Come on, come on. I think Mudslap lowers their uh, speed a little. That seems to be happening, and that's good, because I think this is a melee Pokemon. Um, so, that's gonna be useful. I think we're gonna be able to do this. Come on, we just gotta keep Arbok ready. He's about to pop back up. Come on, do Stealth Rock. Rock Tomb, double Rock Tomb, instantly taken down, the poor thing. Trying so hard to get back into the action, not working. But we're gonna win this, I think, maybe. Oh, it's so good, it's gonna be so close. Can you run away, can you run away? Because he's charging you, you're running towards him. You're being a bit of a dingus, gotta be honest. Come on, just back up a little bit. That's not working. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh boy, you can do it, Doug Trio! I believe in you, come on, buddy! Yes, he did it! Oh my gosh, they did it. All three Doug Trio. That was so close. I am so proud. We're proud Pokemon Papa. Okay, so a couple level ups there. That is fantastic. We get a 450, four Mighty Stone, and two Rainbow Blocks. That's also great. I am so happy right now. We were able to do it all in the first go, and we get an, another Ponyta thing. It's a Ponyta statue. You discovered the Burning Main statue. Congratulations, now your Pokemon with the level 40 can get ex increased experience from expeditions. I've discovered yet another new statue. This is the Burning Main statue. The statue is carved in the shape of a Rapidash. With the power of Rapidash, which is fire incarnate, even furiously raging fires could be controlled. Wow. Okay, so there is another world completed. The next world, I think, is for psychic type. There are more areas to explore nearby, let's go. Just a little more. Okay, so if we take a look down here, this is world nine out of 10. Yeah, the bonus is gonna be for psychic type Pokemon, so I think for the rest of today's episode, we'll go ahead and train up psychic type Pokemon. I have two out of eight batteries, so I'm gonna keep jamming out with that, and then maybe I'll try to record the next episode after this. I don't know, we'll have to see what kind of time I have. I've been really strapped on time this week, but. I've been trying to get as many videos as recorded because you guys have been super supportive. I really appreciate it. But the three psychic type I have right now. Um, well, I did have Raticate, which isn't a psychic type, but has a really interesting psychic type move. And then Jigglypuff will make Pokemon go to sleep. And then finally we have Kadabra, which has very low health, but also very decent moves, I think, or at least decent damage when you get all the Power Stones on. So I think this combination could be effective. We just have to try some stuff out. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to Power Charm. I also have to see, is normal type weak to psychic? Uh, normal type weaknesses. And while that's loading. Uh, vulnerable to f psychic flying and fairy. Ooh, then that might not be a good idea with Raticate. Gonna double think that. But maybe it'd still be good, we'll have to see. Uh, okay. I mean, actually, I keep on thinking that because it's Psychic type, we're gonna run into other Psychic type Pokemon. Maybe I'm thinking about that wrong. Don't be a dingus, Zebra. Don't be a dingus. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give Kadabra some good, powerful stones for sure. Whatever we can really toss his way, because I think that he can really hit hard if given the right opportunity. Some, something like this, and we get the bingo bonus for him. Oh, that's another damage stone down there, jeez. He really hits hard. Now, I might wanna give him this instead. Healing from KO, critical hit rate, hit healing. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give him that. And then finally, I guess give him this damage stone, hitting for 2166. And he has the bingo bonus of resistant to negative effects plus 10%. So nothing crazy, but pretty good. So if we can uh, do what else now? We can go ahead and start applying some stuff to Jigglypuff as well. And Jigglypuff, if we can get her to gain her next half or so of level, she'll go into a Wiggly tough, apparently, which is pretty nice, so I'll take what I can get. Right now, we're just applying some stones to her. I might go ahead and make her like a bit more of a tank. I mean, yeah, do this for now, and then I'm gonna leave these stones for Raticate. If we can apply some more damage, though, like this one here, and then this one there. Look at that, we already got double bingo. Like I said, bingos don't work. Uh, or not horizontally, but diagonally, but we almost have another damage stone here, which will make it a full bingo bonus. Attack of normal type moves is plus 5%, and then attack of normal type moves is plus 20%, and then for a third, she just gets plus 500 HP. So she can be even more of a tank. So she's sort of this tank support character that will put all the other Pokemon to sleep with uh, Sing. The user sings to enemies around itself with its calming voice, often putting them to sleep. And I think that's gonna be really helpful in a lot of different situations. So right now, this is a pretty good loadout. Now just to move over to Raticate. 
and see what we end up getting. Uh, okay. So I don't need this. I can go ahead and put that on somebody else. Same thing with the one on Arbok. And this 392. Actually, should I do this one instead? It will give me a healing from KO, which will be a tiny bit better. Okay, so damage stones. Right now, most of them are occupied by other Pokemon, but we can at least do this combo. That's a decently powerful Pokemon. Now we're just gonna focus on our upgrade stones. That's what I should probably call them. And I probably wanna recycle some of these older ones that I definitely don't need. Uh, so recycle those four. Yep, yep, yep. And for you, we could do a Broad Burst Stone. The attack width is larger for your Zen Headbutt. I think I really wanna focus on the Zen Headbutt. So we could either do a broader thing. We can make it so it attacks twice. I don't know if that's gonna be too helpful though. And then we have your Fury Swipes. Uh, these are repeatedly swipes at enemies directly in front of itself, damaging them. And I think that could be pretty good for even just a Weightless Stone. But if anything else, we could do another Broad Burst Stone. I think for now we'll do Weightless Stone. And then if we move over to Jigglypuff, what options does she have for her sleep? I mean, she has everything but the blue one, again. Everything but the blue one. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, we'll, we'll put a Weightless Stone on you. We'll put another Weightless Stone on you. And then we could give uh, Kadabra the double teleport again if we wanted to. Oh, definitely. I think it would actually be good, though, to give her one of the Broad Burst Stones, for sure. Because being able to put people to sleep as wide as possible, I think that actually that might be a bit better, just doing the double Broad Burst. I think that could actually end up being really effective. And then finally, Kadabra. Let's see what we can do with you. I mean, you have two slots, but they're, yeah, we, we've done this before, so we just gotta do this, and then we gotta do that. And that should be overall pretty good, and hopefully that'll be our setup going into the next world. We're not gonna play the, that world in today's episode. Instead, we'll probably move back to world seven or something, just try to mix around with stuff, see what we can survive with, and just try to keep on earning up more Pokemon that way. We'll just try to do two battles today, and then I'll probably move on with today's episode, but hopefully that'll be enough to uh, get more Pokemon out of the cooking pots. And yeah, then I'll have another full battery if I want to restore it, depends. But for now, we got these Pokemon. So I want to try the Zen head Headbutt for sure. And then definitely the Sing will be great, but Zen Headbutt, let's try this out. Uh, ooh, I like that, 4,500, and we can do some damage with the Sleep, or not damage, but set them up to be damaged. And that's just really helpful. Being able to put the bosses to sleep is probably gonna be the most helpful thing. I also like the little noise, blah, 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 blah. That's definitely gonna be a lot easier to hit people with, for sure. Lots of active moves I could be using. Let's put light screen on you again, do the Zen headbutt, and then when we get close enough, put you to sleep. Oh, we got a stone out of that. Probably not gonna be that crazy, but good to see. Okay, we got more Pokemon. Go ahead and do this, put them asleep. The the Sing gets restored pretty often, but you just got uh, paralyzed, which is not very good. Headbutt, Sing, come on, can you do another Sing? Ah, oh, everybody's getting hurt pretty badly right now. Light screen, sing again, sing again, come on. Ah, oh, she can't right now, the paralyzation's too much. Ooh, we got the double takedown with Raticate there. If we can get one more level with Raticate, oh no, no, that's not true. I was gonna say he'll evolve, but that was if he was a Rattata. But it's fine how it is. Let's do the headbutt, look at this. Boom, that is really damaging, I don't like it. Okay. And then we got a uh, Tangela over this way, should be pretty easy to deal with. Just everybody attacking, and then uh, no, did you miss your Zen headbutt? I think you did. <laughs> Whoops. Come on. Okay, that's another waste of that. Okay, that's fine. We're getting tons of materials, though. This level's a lot more giving with it. And we're going against a Venomoth. Cool. I mean, I want to start training up some different Pokemon, just for the fact that I want to get closer to completing the Pokedex. That might be something I start doing after we complete the 10 worlds. Right now, it might be a little bit difficult to do, because I need to sort of focus my time on making sure that each episode I can get as close as I can to defeating whatever I need to defeat. Let's put you to sleep again. It doesn't last for too long, the sleep, when it actually works. Like, right now, the, the boss isn't asleep. It definitely takes a couple of attempts. Put you back to sleep, come on, come on, come on. Not working for now, but I've definitely seen it work when I've been training these Pokemon on the side. Hit you with, ooh, 48.99. That really, really does pack a punch. There we go, you're asleep. Very good, it took a little while, but it was worth all the effort. And that's a boss fight done. 72 materials before the boss was even defeated. We're gonna get a couple more all the way up to 84 and two stones. Very good. So you're gonna level up, which is nice. Really trying to work for the Jigglypuff level up though. Okay, and we get some stones that I'll probably recycle. To be honest with you, just being honest. 
Just being totally, totally honest. So there's another cooking pot done. That's good. We definitely have a lot lower of a base level for these Pokemon, but that's what I'm working on. If we could get that Jigglypuff just to the next level, it's gonna be so helpful because that'll be another whole power stone which will boost our power up a good chunk by like 300 or maybe even four, depending on what. Oh, is this what I think it is? I think so, yes, we got ourselves an Eevee! Yeah, look at you, added to the Pokedex. Of course, one of our four options as a starter was the Eevee, and here she is. I don't know if we should try to level her up because I don't know how she works. Of course, Eevee can evolution or evolve into three different types of Pokemon. I'm not gonna try to remember their names. I don't know how you choose that in this game. If you guys know, let me know. But she has two moves, she has a fairy charm. The user makes surrounding enemies less wary with its cute behavior, often reducing the amount of damage they deal. Wow, cool. And then also she just has dig. Interesting set of moves for sure. So we got an Eevee, I really like it. And we might be able to get more Pokemon as we'll be completing another round in just a second and we will have two more cooking pots. But that's just another thing for the Pokedex. I'm so excited about that. Was that a bronze? I think that was a bronze, so we can go ahead and do another bronze. But also, let's make sure we get some berries in there because I need to make sure we don't have 999 of these things. I might even do another one, do something like this. We could just make it all blue. Let's do that, all blue this time. Just like this. I really need to earn down some more of these blueberries. Yep, we'll start cooking with that. Awesome stuff. So let's go back to our expeditions and do one more battle to finish today's episode. Things got done a lot quicker than I expected for today's episode, so I'm pretty happy about it. I think I wanna stay to this level. It got us a lot of materials. It got us a decent amount of experience, so I'm happy to see all of that. And we got a bunch of Pokemon. So everybody, do your, do your best, I believe in you. Let's put them all asleep, just like that. But yeah, it is very interesting how Jigglypuff ends up becoming a bit more of like a support type character with her sleep moves. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it's very effective because you know the Pokemon are asleep, they can't do nothing. And it restores so quickly, you'll have so many options and chances to make it work. So it's just very, very good. More wild Pokemon are popping up. We're gonna go ahead and sing at them and then use the headbutt and then do light screen for you, uh, Kadabra. Because right now, Kadabra is just our heavy hitter. Jigglypuff is our support and then Raticate is sort of our hybrid, I think. He's a bit tanky, but also he has some good moves. We got more rainbow blocks there. Gonna try to save up a bunch of those from here on out. I'm not gonna spend any more if I can manage. Until we get some more of those, like if we get any of those shells, that's what I'm really interested in. Cause you guys have been saying it's worthwhile to combo that. I really, like at this point, I've gotten so many different reports on what it does or what we can combo up to get that I'm just gonna sort of let it happen. <laughs> I have no idea what they expect. It's just like I don't even know because I, I keep on getting different answers. And that's pretty cool at the same time. I mean, Pokemon's pretty well known for that, right? Everybody talks in the playground about all these different Pokemon secrets. There's like a Mew under the van, isn't that one? Anyways, let's go ahead and try to get rid of these guys as much as we can. Using the headbutt would be nice. Boom, it's so powerful, I love it. And then it always gives you one last uh, Tangela before the boss fight action. Come on, come on, do we need to headbutt you? I think we do, boom. Oh, that was actually not enough. So if we can put you to sleep, we should be able to make really quick work with you. And I'm just still so glad we were able to defeat that double boss fight between the Nidal Queen and Nidal King. That was scary. I was not expecting the double boss fight again. We've only had that once before with the Weezing, and that was so difficult that we got caught up on it and like for two full episodes, basically. I haven't used Fury Swipes once, but it's just not as good of a move I don't expect it to be at the least. Maybe it's like way better. We'll have to find out. But right now, Headbutt works great, and it's the move I want to use for World 9. Okay, sing again, we still haven't put you to sleep, but once we do put you to sleep, it lasts for a good while. So like, we basically have the boss fight one at that point. Oh, we're confused though. Oh, she is confused, the uh, Jigglypuff. But that just, uh, that really does a good number to you. That doesn't matter too much. Okay, yep, didn't even have to put you to sleep. Another 60, almost 70 materials, and we already have another Power Stone. Can we get another one though? We can, great. So, it's just inches along with the experience. If we could find another Jigglypuff, that could help out a lot. These stones really aren't worth it, but they'll just trade in for materials, which is always good. Okay, so there is another battle done. Our battery is totally depleted for now, so I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. But we can still spend a couple of minutes, open up some cooking pots, see if we can't get some more exciting Pokemon, like whatever's in the bronze one. 
Okay, it's gonna be a mud pie, so it can basically be anything. Another Onyx! Are you kidding me? Okay, 27. Rock Polish. The user polishes his body to reduce drag, raising his movement speed for a while. Not really a move I'm looking for, but we're actually maxed out on Pokemon at the moment, so we wanna probably train. Let's spend our time doing that now, because I wanna make sure we have room for new Pokemon, even though I love Onyx so much. I think we have a fantastic Onyx as it is, so if we could just train up this Onyx with the other Onyx, and I don't know if we still have the other one, if we did what we needed to do with him. I don't know, we'll find that together. So Onyx right here, this is the one that I like, right? Pretty sure. Uh, yes, it is. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in, of course, the to be trained spot. And then taking a look at all the other Pokemon we got. I don't know where the Onyx is. We have so many Pokemon, I really gotta like organize stuff. People are saying Dratini is a really good Pokemon. I wanna level that up. I might try doing that between episodes. Here's our Kangaskhan. And then we have another Rhyhorn. Okay. This is an Aerodactyl. Where is that other Onyx? What were they, level 20 something, right? Right in front of my face, okay, here we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that to you. That should be great. And then what Pokemon are you? Scyther, okay. So that should give you a full level, which is great. Anything we can do to get you closer to another stone, just in case we need a powerful Onyx. I always plan on using Pokemon to train into the same Pokemon uh, type. For sure, so like I will only use Onyx to train into Onyx and only use Pikachu to train into Pikachu. That's what I plan on doing, unless it seems like it's not a good idea. Anyways, there's that done, so we have a little bit more room for Pokemon, even though if I have, do I have any other duplicates, right? New, HP, attack, level, new. Why is there not an organized by name? Makes no sense to me. Makes absolutely no sense to me. Just alphabetically. Order them that way. Or by type. Both of those things feel like total no-brainers to me. I mean, we could train together some of our 80 Ponytas. I'm like a little on the fence about what I wanna do here. Hmm, because we have like this really high-level Paris. You have, you have Poison Powder, right? We have a couple Parises with Poison Powder, though. So if I could train that Poison Powder into a Parasect and then use the rest of it for leveling for that Parasect, so we got a, uh, there's our Parasect. So low level comparatively. Do you have poison powder? You do, okay. And then if we keep moving, I think we have, yep, another Paris. So many of these, I don't know why we do, but we do. Do you have poison? I wanna make sure that the lowest level Pokemon, that's the one we give the poison powder to for Parasect, because that way the higher level Pokemon can be used for level training, and that'll be much better. So there was that, that was the Parasect we just saw. Any other Parasect or Paris? No, okay, good. So what we're gonna do is go into training, get our Parasect, use that low level Paris to get that Poison Powder move, um, and then we'll level train the rest of them. So move like this, go like this, get this Paris, and then, like I said, we're gonna use that, and then we can poison people with this Parasect, which I think will be really effective. Light screen can be good, but I think this is gonna be a little bit better. I can just only hope it doesn't give us another of the wrong move. I'm always afraid it's gonna give us the wrong move. Oh, Psybeam. Okay, well that's not what I wanted. I mean, Psybeam's okay, right? Actually, you know what, maybe we should keep with that. We already have other poison type Pokemon. You know what, I'm gonna take the bright side of that and use the rest of it for uh, level up training. You know, sometimes the grass is greener on the other side, not this time. The grass is green where I'm standing. Let's hope that's not a bad choice. 12 levels between these two. Isn't that crazy? Start training, right? Yeah. Okay, this is definitely gonna get you a couple power stones, buddy, right? You're getting 12 levels. You better get at least that heart and then some. You you better. I'm gonna be disappointed. Look at that. It just keeps going and going and going and going and it's done. Wow, it didn't even give us the health stone. That is ridiculous. So much work. Wow. Okay, so there is that done. And that definitely gives us a couple of slots. We're 76 out of 80. So we can open this last cooking pot, which is all I was trying to do. What do we get? Hopefully something good for all that work. 
But lastly, like I said before, if you haven't already answered it, and if you know, if I level up this shiny Magikarp, will it stay as a Magikarp, or will it turn, I mean, say, stay as a shiny when it turns into a Gyarados? I would love to hear it. Auto set. Got it, got it. And then over this way, we got this group of stuff. What is it gonna be then? I can't wait to see. Two Pokemon, one of them, an Oddish. Oh, is it the one with the swirly on his belly? It is, look at that guy. So we got a level 48 Oddish. He has the ability Stun Spore. The user scatters numbing powder directly in front of itself, often paralyzes enemies hit by it. Not bad, not bad indeed. And then we also have a hey, Poliwag, you're so cute, I love you. Poliwag became your buddy, new for our Pokedex. You have Bubble, the user fires bubbles in three directions, deals damage to enemies hit by the bubbles, and sometimes lowers their movement speed. And then finally, we have Waterfall. The user approaches enemies in front of itself and creates a pillar of water beneath them. This deals damage to enemies it hits. Not bad right there, I'm happy about that one. Okay, so our Pokedex is getting closer and closer to completion, which is so very exciting. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And you know what? Let's make a really powerful water po Pokemon, or blue Pokemon will be. I mean, if we could get a Squirtle, that would be so exciting. I'd be so happy with that. And then how many, are, how is our Pokedex doing? Have we reached the halfway mark? No, <laughs> we need 75 to reach the halfway mark. But if I start working on some evolutions for like Pidgeotto or Pikachu, or I guess Nidoran and Nidoran, or Clefairy or Jigglypuff, so many options. I'll try to get started with that very soon. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watched the video, make sure you comment shiny zebra so that you've watched the end that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.